My name is Jason Doty with St. Mary's Life Light in Evansville, Indiana, and today I want to talk about tourniquet use. Tourniquets have been around for a long time, dating back to the ancient Romans and Alexander the Great, back to 4 BC. Over the last hundred years, tourniquets have been fodder for a lot of debate, have fallen in and out of favor. And until recently, over the last decade, due to the events in Iraq and Afghanistan, tourniquets have made a comeback. They, the, the medical community is now embracing tourniquet use after seeing the success rate over, overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. <clears throat> Fortunately, uh, because of that, EMS usage is on the rise, civilian EMS usage. In 2005, the United States Army Institute of Surgical Research released research results where they utilized seven combat tourniquets in their study on, on human volunteers. And it was found that they found three of those combat tourniquets to be 100% effective. One being the emergency military tourniquet, another being the Special Operation Forces tactical tourniquet, and the one that I'm gonna demonstrate for you today that my service uses, the combat application tourniquet, or the CAT for short. So let's get started. Tourniquet use has often been called a last resort. I don't like that. Tourniquet should be utilized when any other means to control a hemorrhage has been exhausted. By starting out, I'm going to place the tourniquet around the extremity proximal to the wound. Take the tab of the strap, slide it through the slit of the friction buckle on the inside, pull it tight, Take the tab of the strap, slide it through the outside slit of the friction buckle. And pull it tight as you can, securing the strap to itself. Now twist the rod until the bleeding has stopped and the distal pulse has been eliminated. And then secure the rod Inside the, inside the clamp. Reassess for bleeding and distal pulse. If the bleeding is not controlled, a second tourniquet can be used proximal to the first using, using the, the uh, same technique. And lastly, secure the rod in place with the white Velcro st strap and note the time on that, on that tab and make sure that you report the time the tourniquet was applied to the receiving facility.